you read the title, you've seen the thumbnail. This is my compact spring powered bow. And after a quick build, montage, I do a bit more explaining and a bit more shooting, of course. So in an older video from me, I tested how fast coil springs snap back and I thought um, with these coil springs I should do something useful. So I built uh, this small bow which are powered by the largest coil springs I had there. And um, how compact this thing really is. Um, well to show you I have to go a st couple steps back because I have my standard or a traditional recurve bow also with me and it wouldn't fit into the frame standing over there. So there you go. This is the normal recurve bow. And this is the small spring powered one. So uh, my goal was to make it uh, super compact and also super light. And uh, this recurve bow is not heavy by any means. It's actually pretty light, but still this thing is even lighter. So uh, yeah. Maybe, I don't know, half a kilo or even less. It's super light anyway. So also a main difference uh, about these bows is that uh, in a traditional bow, the limbs serve two purposes. Uh, first, they store the energy. And uh, second, they also release it again over the string onto the arrow. So that's for traditional archery. And in this bow, I actually separated these two functions. Here, the coil springs uh, store the energy and uh, it is then transferred over these levers via the string, of course, onto the arrow. So that is what makes it so compact. And uh, actually, the system here uh, is made of these uh, two coil springs with each around 35 to maximum 40 kilograms or well, maybe 90 pounds or so, 80, 90 pounds. And um, over this lever, which uh, has a 1 to 2.8 ratio, and again, this pulley system, 1 to 2, um, it is uh, converted to, well, only 15 of, uh, so or so kilograms, or maybe 30, 35 pounds of draw weight, but with a pretty long draw length. So. Um, for every centimeter uh, the coil springs move, this thing moves three centimeters. And the draw length maybe, I don't know, 10 or so. So you get really quite a long draw length. And um, this is also what makes it so compact. Okay, let's have a look at uh, a couple more details. So these levers are really just uh, a couple of aluminum pieces, two millimeters thick, so very light and you would think not very stable, but um, combined with a couple of 3D printed uh, spacers, 
it is actually uh, really sturdy. So I was actually quite surprised by that. Then um, the grip or the central uh, center piece here, it's uh, just uh, four centimeters uh, by one centimeter thick beach. And this arrow rest here in the middle is um, 3D printed using a couple um, toothbrushes. And I found out that this works really quite well. Okay, yeah, that's about it actually. So a really simple system, but uh, I found out that it uh, works really quite well. So let's shoot a couple of arrows. Oh, that was good. Ah, sweet. Actually aiming with this thing is uh, quite easy actually because it's uh, designed in such a way that it uh, has or provides center line firing or shooting and um, because it's so compact you can really put it right under your chin in your eye line and let go. <laughs> 